So in this section, we'll talk about continuous random variables and continuous probability distributions that basically describe the properties of such random variables. The difference to discrete random variables is that we basically have an infinite amount of possible outcomes and therefore we cannot any longer assign a particular probability to an individual outcome. We will have to assign probabilities to intervals of outcomes instead. But why are continuous random variables important? Well, because most random variables or most random outcomes in society and in economics are actually of continuous nature or many important ones, perhaps not important to quantify whether it's most or not. So um, let's look at a couple of examples. Let's say share price investment or share prices. Okay. The outcome of share prices is certainly for practical purposes continuous, although there may be certain increments at which prices change. The distribution of possible share price outcomes is basically infinite and the same for, for the returns. Okay. And of course, are we interested in modeling share prices, perhaps changes in share prices, perhaps the variance, the risk associated with investments in share prices? You bet we are. Even if you're not yourself dabbling um, in such investments, your pension fund, which you will eventually be a member of, certainly does. And therefore, you should be interested, even though not actively yourself. A very traditional sort of economic topic is, of course, profits of companies. We're thinking that many, not all, but many companies are driven by profit motive, perhaps want to maximize profits for their shareholders. And then the outcomes of profits, again, could be a random variable, could be a function of all sorts of different things, demand for the product you're offering, the prices which you have to pay for the, uh, for the inputs into your production process. Okay, so the outcomes of profits is a very complicated thing and you should think about it as a random outcome. And again, there are basically infinite amounts of outcomes you could have, not only discrete outcomes. Every one of you who travels is interested in this random variable exchange rates. And you may think, oh, in one week's time, I will be traveling to um, Hong Kong. Will I need to change money now or should I wait for a week and perhaps then I'll get more for my pounds? Very difficult, very difficult topics, actually very difficult to predict share, uh, sorry, exchange rates. But again, it's of utmost importance, certainly for most companies who are perhaps importing um, some of the um, inputs they need in their production process. And lastly, a topic that has been um, very, very much in the news recently, electricity prices. So prices in general, electricity prices in particular, we had huge variations. And again, the outcomes of electricity prices is really best thought about as a continuous random variable. And we will want to model, perhaps even predict. And if you want to do this, you have to build a random model that's capable of modeling continuous prices. And that's why we have to think in this lesson about how to model continuous random variables.